Okay, so we're <clears throat> not doing a, a river uh, adventure today. Rather, uh, what I... drive off the road trying to get a good fucking video. Um, and this is a fellow adventurer, Bill. Say hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Okay, and uh, <laughs> weather forecast has been for uh, freezing fog, which I don't know what freezing fog is, uh, <laughs> along with um, uh, uh, black ice, which is good, um, snow, and so we thought it would be a good idea to uh, drive a little and then trek up to about 2,400 uh, feet and see what's at the top of this mountain. Okay, so, so here we are. Uh, more to come. Um, we're at the base of uh, the trail and getting ready to get some. I won't be needing this today. Can you see that? That's a no, paddle. There we go. Because we're not on the river. So we're replacing the paddle with uh -huh, a walking stick. So we are now going to get on the trail. Right, Bill? Absolutely. Okay, we're on the trail. It's pretty treacherous. Any slight move and we could plummet 600 feet to our sudden death. And we'll catch it on video. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife has been really active. We've seen grizzly bears. <laughs> And Canadian geese. <laughs> Actually, that should be Canada geese. So we've had to fight off the wildlife with our walking sticks. Good thing we brought them. And now we are climbing to the summit on almost a straight 45 degree angle. It's it's pretty steep. I'm standing in in what is no doubt an ancient Indian rock shelter. You see over here, I think there's some markings on the side of this rock. Oh shit, ouch. <laughs> I was right. Just as suspected, I discovered ancient Native American glyphs on the side of this ancient rock shelter. Okay, this is this is a rare find. Can't believe we saw it, but I think I'll be able to get a good shot. It's a very rare glove tree. Yeah, you heard me right. Well, now the flowers only come out in the winter time, and they resemble a child's glove. Uh, you don't see it very often, and again, just another uh, you know very interesting aspect of this hike. More to come. I went a little off the trail, and as you can see in the background, I have discovered an extremely rare species of palm trees that is only found on this side of this particular mountain. These palm trees are an endangered plant species, and um, my guess is these are the only ones left on this planet of their kind. It's been a very fortunate day. If you can see this but this is a pretty dire warning 200 foot falls ahead fatalities have occurred use extreme caution wow i don't know what to expect well damn bill that sure hell looks like a lot of fun it's just great big old silly little slip and slide Hey, let's go back up the top, get ourselves some Jack Daniels, and we'll just come on down. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. We're now on the same trail 
that both Daniel Boone and George Washington used at different times for different reasons. Daniel Boone was up here hunting raccoons when he blazed this trail. And then later during the Revolutionary War, George Washington and his troops came down this trail as they were ready to confront the Redcoats. Okay, and here, I hope you can see this. This is uh, a beaver dam. Uh, the beavers here are hoping for water. So they're damming it up first. As you can tell, they have cut down some rather large trees in anticipation of a rather large dam. Very rare that you see this. And the beavers who do this are, are quite large. Then suddenly, along the path, we discovered a deserted farm. There was nobody here. What had happened? Is this the site of a zombie apocalypse? Was there a nuclear test conducted here by some rogue government agency? Where are the people? Where's the livestock? It's completely deserted. More to come. Okay, we made it back. There were many times on the trail when it was 50-50, quite frankly. We weren't sure we were gonna make it back. And as you might be able to tell, it's starting to snow. We're expecting three to four feet today. We made it back just in time. Bill, what did you think of it? Well, the butterflies were particularly vicious. Uh, we're lucky to have survived those. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all, all in all, a worthy adventure. Yeah, it was. More to come.